Hey guys, welcome to this video on the present continuous. Um, as per usual, it's a verb tense, so we'll be looking at form, use, and we will practice together. Um, like I usually recommend, please grab some paper, grab a pen, write down some notes on form and use so you can study those for a test. Um, and also it gives you the opportunity to write down answers when you practice. Um, if at any point I am going too fast for you to keep up with your writing, there is a pause button down there. Hit pause, write down whatever you're writing down, and then press play again. Okay, let's start on the form. So, what does a present continuous look like? Well, a present continuous um, is always with the present form of to be. So, am, are, or is, then a verb, and behind the verb we put a ing. So, uh, we have, for instance, if we conjugate, if we do the forms of to dance in the present continuous, I am dancing, you are dancing, he, she, and it is dancing, we are dancing, you are dancing, and they are dancing. Um, there are a couple of things up with spelling for the ing form, so let's have a look at those. Okay, there are roughly three things you need to know about spelling ing forms. Number one, um, words, verbs, sorry, that have a silent E at the end, um, drop that E when they add ING. So, uh, love, for instance, has an E at the end if you don't hear. It's not lover, it's love. So, if you listen to it, it really sounds like it ends in a V rather than in an E. If that's the case, when you add ING, drop that E. Um, other verbs in this category are, for instance, hate and write. The second one is a very hard rule, uh, and the best thing to do is to see whether you need the rule or not. A lot of us will do this correctly automatically, so we don't have to study this. It's best om eerst te proberen of je deze regel wel nodig hebt bij twee, voordat je er heel veel tijd aan besteedt om het te bestuderen, want heel veel van ons doen het vanzelf goed. But what is the rule? Well, if a word has one syllable, één letter greep, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, C, V, C, uh, and in Dutch that means made a clinker, clinker, made a clinker, then you double the last consonant, so stop, it's got one syllable, it ends in a P, which is a consonant, then we get an O, which is a vowel, and before that we see a T, and a T is a consonant, so it is indeed one syllable, ending in C, V, C. Therefore, when we add ing, it becomes stopping with double p. For most of us, it just looks really weird if you don't do it. So it's a very hard rule for something that's usually okay anyway. Um, verbs ending in ie, by the way, they get y ing. So die becomes dying, lie becomes lying, both with I, y ing. Um, so fairly simple rule, that one. Um, I would like to go on to questions and negation. So how do we form a question for the present continuous and how do we do a negation for a present continuous? Um, well, as you can see, your finite verb, your persona's form, is always a form of to be, am, are, or is. And as you may know, those are very easy to make into questions and to negate them uh, because they work like Dutch. Um, examples, I am dancing. When I form a question for that one, it becomes, am I dancing? Uh, swapping round I and am. Uh, that's called inversion. Then it, when you negate it, so you add not to the sentence, you can just put that in there just behind uh, am. I am not dancing. If you're using is or um, are, you can also shorten it to isn't and aren't. That's fine. Doesn't matter at all. Uh, with am, mm, you can't. Not really anyway. Um, think it's time for you to practice. So please practice by doing these six sentences. There are seven forms. For each of them, you need to fill in the correct um, form of the present continuous for this verb. So please form present continuouses um, and press pause down here. And when you're ready, start it again. You have restarted the video, so that means you're probably done. I would like to go over the answers now. All right, the answer is we have in sentence one, I am studying at the moment, 
using am because it's I, and I always comes with am, remember? Um, studying looks a bit strange in the spelling, but it's very normal. Just add ing at the end. In sentence two, we have we, and we gets are, and watching just gets ing, so we are watching. In three, we get day, and day, day gets are as well. Um, go plus ing is going, there's nothing strange going on there. And we have to negate it so it becomes aren't going. In four, we have Jason, and Jason is a he, uh, so he gets an is. Um, live has a silent e at the end. Look, it's live, not liver. Um, so if we add ing, we drop the e and it becomes living with v i n g at the end. Uh, and it's a question, so place is before Jason rather than after it. Is Jason living in London? In five, we have um, to die and dying ends in IE. So the ING form gets Y ING. Uh, that man is a he, so it is dying. In six, we have um, two times am because it's both of an I as a subject. Uh, and the first one is love. Love has got the silent E. It was the example verb actually. Um, so it's got loving with V I N G. And the last one, hearing, is perfectly normal. Nothing special, just I N G at the end. Maybe you want to practice some more right there. There is a place where you can find more exercises. Um, it's called The website's called perfectenglishgrammar.com. Um, and there's loads and loads and loads of exercises for this. So if you like, um, that's a really good place. And the answers are actually correct as well. Let's carry on a little bit. Let's go on to when to use a present continuous. OK, so there is one very important reason for you to use a present continuous. Uh, if an action is going on right now, use present continuous. And it's a little bit different from Dutch. We don't do that very often. Um, let me give you an example that might help you a little bit as well. I am explaining this to you at the moment. Um, see, I'm doing it at the moment, so now. Uh, and therefore, it's I am explaining this to you. Ik ben het aan het uitleggen, we would say in Dutch. Um, and that's... Such people tend to overuse this one a little bit. It's actually just for when you're in the middle of the action. And there's a future part as well, and that's number two. Um, this one you don't really have to know unless you're in year four or up. Um, in lower school, year one, two, and three, you don't have to know this. Um, the it can also be used as a future tense, as I said. Then it's used for planned activities. It's very much like the going to future. Uh, but it's in different forms. So I'm painting your house next week, for instance. Um, but this one's not very important for us right now. We need to know number one. Um, what we do like are keywords. Uh, so when we do mixed tenses, we're always looking for keywords, right? Um, so uh, let's have a look at keywords for the present continuous. Uh, first of all, there's a category of words that mean now, um, synonyms of now, we could say. Uh, for instance, at the moment, currently, presently, uh, so on so forth. Anything you can think of that means now is a keyword. Uh, the other category of keywords are look and listen or hear maybe or watch. Um, because if I tell you to look now, then it must be at something that's going on because otherwise you don't have to look right now. Because um, it's like if the man says, look, she's falling down the stairs uh, or something like that. So if you see those, look, listen, watch it. Also, present continuous, please. OK, it's time to practice. So I've come up with an assignment for you guys. Uh, for the present continuous, I need you to do two things. First of all, in these six sentences, find any keywords. Uh, if you find a keyword for present continuous, then you fill in a present continuous form. If it's not a present continuous, you don't have to fill it in, because I also hid some present simples in there. So find the keywords, see how word is it a signal word from present continuous? Dan vul je de zin in. Is het geen signal word van present continuous? Laat hem leeg. Er zitten namelijk ook present simples tussen deze zes. Uh, again, press pause down there. And when you're ready, start me again. You have started me again. So there we go. Let's go on to the answers. So uh, in sentence number one, we have keyword listen. And listen is a keyword of present continuous. So we fill it in and say is playing. In sentence number two, the keyword is always which is not a present continuous keyword. It's a present simple keyword, so it's play. Uh, you don't have to have filled that in. Maybe you have nothing there because I told you not to fill it in. In three, 
we have the keyword now, and that's a keyword for present continuous. So is Nina going to the library now? In four, um, not so much a keyword. This one was a little bit more of context. But we like those every now and then. It's the harder version, a little bit more difficult. Um, but in the second part of the sentence, it says he is asleep, eyes and slapper. Um, that means that Jacob right now in the moment is not listening. Hij is nu op dit moment niet aan het luisteren, want hij ligt te slapen. Um, so this one wasn't so much a keyword as a key sentence. Happens sometimes. In five, a normal one again, because we have the keyword at the moment. So Jennifer is dancing. Uh, mind you, dance also has a silent E at the end, so it's dancing with C-I-N-G. And in the sixth one, we have usually as a keyword, and usually is a keyword for present simple, so not for present continuous. This one was not part of the present continuous assignment. So as Joshua and Jake usually do their shopping with a present simple. Um, maybe you want to practice this a little bit more. Go to Eagle for You, for instance. They have loads and loads and loads of assignments like this. Um, and uh, well, it's a little bit hard to read what it says there at the end. I think it says cram up test present progressive. If you Google it and you go to Eagle for You, it'll come up. And I'll try and post it below in the comments as well. Um, actually, that means that now I'm officially done. Um, I have made you a lovely, lovely little end screen right there, which is not popping up the way I hoped it would, uh, but maybe next video it will. Um, anyways, good luck. Don't stress. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from each other. Always ask your questions and speak as much English as you can. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to this amazing channel, of course. Bye-bye.